I want us to take a trip together and not waste any time on our way there. With the advent of self-driving cars, this is a reality that we may soon be living in. The benefits of this emerging technology are numerous and encouraging. First and foremost, safety. In the year 2015, over 1,800 people died of motor vehicle accidents in Canada alone, and thousands more were injured. Imagine if we could greatly reduce or even completely eliminate those accidents, not to mention all the valuable time we're going to reclaim from our daily commutes. I think we can all agree the perspective reality is pretty exciting. But what are the remaining technical challenges until we get there? Where else is this new tech taking us? Can we go anywhere? How about unpredictable and hostile temperature climates like we have in Canada? Here at the University of Calgary, I'm working on developing wireless systems that'll help make that possible. It turns out that many of the existing technologies, such as laser imaging, that help a vehicle sense its surroundings are severely impacted by inclement weather. These sensors literally give our vehicles eyes. And just as we humans have difficulty seeing in low visibility conditions, so do our cars. Out of the numerous contemporary sensors available, radar is the least affected by atmospheric moisture. But even still, radar is not robust enough to pave the road ahead on its own. This problem is aggravated by the fact that when radar radiation interacts with the material, it scatters randomly all around, and only a little bit of that energy arrives back at the car doing the imaging. To combat this phenomena, I considered what would happen if we outfitted our cars and the surrounding infrastructure with tiny electronic lenses that reflected the signal back exactly in the direction it originated from. We're all pretty familiar with this concept, as many of us wear glasses to help us see. Reflecting a wave in this manner, known as retrodirectivity, is not itself a novel process, but the hardware I'm developing will overcome certain limitations posed at higher frequencies, which is where automotive radar operates. And in fact, this idea goes past the lens analogy because these new sensors will also enhance the signals by providing additional energy at the moment of reflection. This is the key to ensuring there's enough strength to pierce through any type of precipitation. Developing automotive systems can be challenging, but thinking outside of the metal box helped me realize there may be an elegant solution to this imaging dilemma. All that needed to happen was to turn the problem around and consider how best to send the useful data back to where it came from a critical step in developing a safer, improved sensing modality. Now, I hope that we're not just excited for a future destination, but that we're also left with an appreciation for the tech keeping us safe along the journey. Thank you.